Hi guys, if you think that you might have mold in your house, really easy way to, and, and very inexpensive way to check it out, get yourself some of these little test plates. They're very easy to use. Right now I'm gonna show you step one. Step one is very, very simple. All you do is take them out of the plastic bags and you just basically open it up and you leave it open for one hour. The other thing in Dr. Dennis's protocol that's pretty, that's pretty interesting is we are also gonna do a tap test. And the tap test is very simple. Basically, you can do it on any, anything that you want to, like bedspread or whatever. But it's good to check and see if there's other things going on, maybe perhaps with your bedspread. So it's, it's the same thing. You open it up like that, and you just basically tap the bed like so, and that will get anything popped in there. So in an hour, we'll come back, and I'll show you how to close them up. Okay, we are back for step two. For this step, you need the following items. Marker aluminum foil, some clear tape, and a bag. Okay, so it's been an hour. And so now what we wanna do is we wanna close up each of the test plates, tape it shut. And then I, I like to mark them. So this is the regular. And I'm also going to do put the put the date on here. And this is the tap test. Okay. That's part two of this. Part three. Close it up in some aluminum foil. This is so you don't get any sunlight in here. The sunlight will negatively affect and create a much more moist environment for any mold that might exist. All right, both of those go into our bag. And then mark the bag with the date that it needs to it needs, to, it needs to be opened. Set that down. And we are done with step two. And so now we're going to wait five days and we'll take a look at the results and see what's going on inside those test plates. Okay, it's been five days and now it's time to open this bad boy up and see what's going on. Okay, that's the regular, and this one is the tap test, and as you can see, let me give you a little close-up here in a second, we'll open them up. And that's, and that's the tap test. Okay, looks like the one on the right, that one right there is the regular, and it looks like there's three major cultures and a couple of small ones, and the tap test has got three major cultures on it as well. So, according to our little code here, three to five moderate risk of inflammation for low sensitivity sufferers, high risk of inflammation for severe sufferers. Okay, so I'm going to probably go ahead and send these off to our friends over at Immunolytics and see uh, what they what they say about it. But again, this looks like it's fairly moderate risk. It's not really high risk at this point for me.